Hey, you were Whiskey Fancy Zonkris. And I'm Kara. What do we have today, Kara? We have Old Pepper Barrel Proof Rye. How old is Old Pepper? We don't know. So old. We don't know. No idea. No age statement. And I don't even know... How old is it? Oh, 1880 is the distillery. That's old. No, it, they water. rebuilt it, though. So there's this whole story. Of this, there's words. There's words. Like they always have. Um, what is the, uh, interesting about this? This is the finest Kentucky oak, and it's a single barrel, and it is barrel proof. Right. It's at 56.1% on this bad puppy. Um, it is MGP, and from what I can tell from all of this story on the back, it's basically taking this regular MGP ride that they had. This one, I believe, is four years. It's not Bob and Molly, it's four yeah. years. And then they put it in another barrel. It's of, almost like a doubled oak version. Yeah, but it's a special staves of the finest Kentucky oak. The finest. The finest. Now, I don't know how you determine that. There's a whole judging process, I assume. I hope so. So, I can't actually wait to oh. try this. Wow. You know the Down Home Toasted Rye? Mm -hmm. I had a, that clove on the nose? Yes. I just got that. I am getting some strong, dark, like, burnt caramel sweetness. There's so much fruit in my nose. That's, I'm getting sweetness on that. That was, uh, awkwardly, ac mm, wow, awkwardly phrased. I get a little mm. of fruit. Let me smell yours. Yeah, what the hell? That's funny. <laughs> Which one did you pour first? They are literally poured two seconds apart. I didn't do anything. Do you smell the difference though? A little slight. Okay, no, no, that's not enough. It, that Give one's mine back. It smells delicious. Wow. You get violent when I want my bourbon. It smells really good. It does. I have to say that the old pepper single barrel that we have is one of my favorite rides. That is actually one of my favorite rides. It's not very dill forward for me, and it's not no. super grassy or herbal, mm -hmm. and it's very creamy, and it's. Right. It's it's actually really pleasant to drink. We did a head to head versus uh, old Will pepper it. versus Willet for your yeah, right? and then it, it easily won for and both. Crushed rest. it. This does not smell like that. Fifty six point one percent. I wish we had an extra glass so we could pour it. Okay, I've got to taste this puppy because this just smells it smells delicious. It does not smell like a rice meat at all. It just smells... It reminds me of the nose of Down Home Rye when we first opened really? the Down Home. Yeah, but then the Down Home changed a little bit. I still like it, but it's not as clovey on the nose. That was a toasted rye, not the regular rye. Did I not say that? I'm sorry. Oh, you could have, but I'm just... Well, because we only have the toasted rye. Sorry. No, they have a regular rye. No, that, we though. don't have it. I know, but now I'm... So that's why I forgot to... Now I'm going to taste the regular rye. Wow. Okay. Are we sure this is a rye? <laughs> no, it tastes a lot like Down Home when we first opened it. Down Home Toasted Rye. Mm -hmm. Do you think that extra oak um, this adds definitely some stuff into it? I, I, you know? don't, I don't know if this is a gimmicky thing that they're saying the finest Kentucky oak, but I do definitely taste the difference with this versus this. And they both are MGP, both on the same distilled in Indiana. So it, it, although this does not have an age statement, I don't know if the extra aging into those staves brings um, out a lot of sweet vanillas and it does this caramels and but mm -hmm. I get a lot of, I get a nice spice like a spice cake it's really oh, good oh yes 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 yeah. yeah it's really good like a gingerbread spice cake around the holiday or something okay now I'm getting the cloves mm -hmm. it's I opening up you didn't taste that before? No, I was just getting too it's much of that so sweetness. Much, right. It was so much like how Down Home Toasted Rye had to open was up when, a I little first, bit. when I first had Down Home Toasted Rye. I got From the neck floor. Yeah, yeah, I got so much clove. I, that, and this reminds me so much of that. But oh, Down Home Toasted is, Rye is not barrel proof in this mm -hmm. is. Mm. Close. Mm. 0.1% off. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh. I wonder if that's... That's... It's a batch. It's down home MGP? It's not barrel proof. It is. Are you serious? Totally serious. 
six. It's a batch. Right. Mm -hmm. Distilled. No, but just says bottled by. No. Distilled in Lynchburg Green. Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't you mean? These are so close. Uh -huh. This is, but this one has a little bit more of. Um, I get a sweetness on it. Can I just different? Can I make a real, real quick one? What do you want to pour that? A little bit. Just a little bit. When you say a little bit, like that, a little bit. You exactly. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. We quickly, or not so quickly, poured down home toasted rye. Mm -hmm. Chris pointed out this one's fifty six percent, and, and the old pepper that says one. old pepper barrel proof is fifty six point one. Mm -hmm. They're both distilled in Indiana, so they're both MGP. And when I first, when we first opened this, when immediately when we tried this. A couple minutes ago, it, I was like, "This is down home toasted rye." This nose has changed so much since it's opened. Mm -hmm. This can only get better, and that's saying a lot because I already like it. I get a little more cinnamon on that one, with a little bit of something else. Yes. It's got almost a, um, God, on the back palette, is it, I don't know if it's like a char or is it like a smokiness to it on the back, on the palette, so you end it, the words are failing me. Oh, the finish. There you go. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm just going to keep talking until I get the right word out. It's got a little... Is it a char or a smokiness to it? Like a little this mellow campfire? Or is that just... I don't get that. You don't get that? Mm-mm. Uh, have char. we ever had toasted products before? Yes. Well, can you even name one? Lucky Seven. Mm -hmm. Toasted holiday toast. Uh, we have a Nulu toasted. Um, I think it might be like that toasted. We do. Toasted. Okay. Toasted, yeah. We do have a Starlight that's that distiller's craft char. Would that be considered a toast? No, that's definitely barrel char. I know that flavor. Okay. This is different. I know what you're talking about, but I don't yeah. I don't equate it to campfire. I equate it it's to It's so toast soft, but there's work. something in there. Maybe it's just the char, and my, my palate just equates that as to being a little bit of, of smokiness. Because whenever I, I get that, I, I think of like your, it's your not camping. One. No, I, I it equates to me like oh you're camping you're sitting around the fire and just drinking some booze. Did you try that yet? I did. But okay, try that one now. I'm double fisting. What's new? The toast. This is toasted. Mm -hmm. I heard a rumor that this one is mm -hmm. doesn't taste it. I don't I, think it is. No, I there's no evidence to think say because that it is. they're very similar on the palate. This has more of a spice. This just got really sweet at the end. Mm -hmm. This is a bit more uh, sweetness kick. This is more of that traditional like pow kick. What's spicier? Yeah. It's ginger and sweet cinnamon. Is that what that is? Okay. I think I'm, so. I'm, I'm getting the cinnamon for sure. When I came back to this down home, I was like, oh, that's that spice. It's cinnamon. Yeah. I think this has a little bit more of a ginger spice kick to it. This has a little more molasses-y, um, yeah. bourbon -y note. But on the nose? Taste. They taste really good. They smell On the really nose, this, this smells so much sweeter. Yeah. Than what it tastes. This smells more clovey right now. Yeah. This is a down home. Wow, how close those are. They are. They start out very similar. There's a, like a little bit difference in the mm -hmm. mid palette, but they don't finish the same. No, they're, uh, they're starkly different. I, On the side by I side. I would be hard pressed to tell you which one I like more. That's how close they are. They're so mm. good. They're 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 different to me only because but they this do has of what they this do has so that well. spice factor they and that that, that kind of makes it stand out as a big difference to me. But otherwise, the the sweetness are very similar. But that spike of like just a kick to let you know it's there. I like that. I like that. And that's kind of what sets it apart. Now it doesn't mean I favor this one over the other. Sometimes I like my my rise to announce themselves. Do you know what I mean? You like a good punch in the face every once in a while. Mm. Some people are into that. This is God. This is so different. Look how dark they both are, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this. Mm. I like this. But if I want something a little spicy with my, uh -huh. yeah. 
I a different mood. This oh, they're so good. They still don't drink as high as you expect it. Although I get a little warmth, but it takes a while. I actually do kind of think that some, when you hit that spice, you're like, oh, what is this higher? But then it goes away, and you're like, no, it's right. not. These are so similar. I would mm -hmm. say that they're siblings, wouldn't you? Except for the finishing. Oh yeah, because that's they, not. They but started okay. The they, source, the same source. They're, right? oh, they're, this yeah. is siblings, mm -hmm. and one of them went to uh, off to school, and one of them stayed mm -hmm. in state. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. they're so close, but the finish mm -hmm. made them change a little bit. Mm -hmm. One's a little slightly spicy. Mm -hmm. Went to art school. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like Spastic. they're they're super close, and uh, I just find it fascinating that they're both Indiana rise we're mm -hmm. very close in proof we don't know the age on this one or that we don't know or on no, this one huh no, there's no age statement anyway they just um, seem so close to me I, I would buy any one of these again they're really good they're so delicious but yeah. to me yeah. i'd have to give um the edge to old pepper tonight i'm really digging on that extra spice i think yeah that little extra kick it's really good. does make it that that yeah. actually stands out more for me mm -hmm. because it's not an offensive kick no. This this is more well rounded kind of oh, it's it, it transitions in all gears. Oh, go back to that nose. I I have been smelling all night. Oh, and then this good. one right here, it just it it's not like a harsh kick, it's just nice just spice. A nice little kick in the I like it. But then but then mm -hmm. it, it, it still rounds out, but this it's 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 so Yeah. You guys this should is... compare these two. Let us know. Have you had either one of them? What do you guys think? Leave, leave us a comment below. And if you like what we're doing here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn your notifications on so you can join us in our next video. I don't know about you, but I'm really fancying this whiskey. I'm fancying both these. All right. Cheers. cheers. Did you just finish both of them? Yep.